I am not speciest. I am not racist. I simply tell you the vibes and the instincts that I get when that red orc goblin priest was acting all nice. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm going to stick to my guns. Listen, every time that I have some sort of suspicions, usually I'm right. Sometimes I'm wrong, but I, I, I'm not letting that guy go. Other than that, what's going on? Basically, we've locked up the borders. No more immigrants are allowed because they're not sending their best folks. They're sending their worst and they're fucking this place up. No more isekai characters are allowed and we're trying to figure out how to deal with, you know, the existing otherworlders that basically defeated the Dark Lord and assumed that throne position. On top of that, there is an interesting Pope guy. Was he an Archbishop? I forget the exact name. But the guy with Dio's voice actor, he showed up at the very end as soon as we start to talk about a solution with, you know, deporting these goddamn immigrants. And who is it? Sensei. And as soon as Sensei's powers are mentioned in hard, in, in, to counter the bad people, right, the bad otherworlders, that Pope appears. So I don't trust that guy at all either. Other than that, Sachan is part of the team with the otherworlders there. I don't know exactly how the timeline works. Like, how the fuck did she get recruited there so early? Because, like, we should be early game. Like, we only showed up a couple episodes ago, but she already joined, like, a super mature party and, like, basically defeated the Dark One. And then we went to a different village. We basically adopted a scammered kid, Orphan, and we're in Thomas Village now, except we're getting, like... They're basically checking our passports and it's not checking out, so we got thrown into the fucking prison. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> this he's sleeping so nicely, bro. <laughs> Meadows looks so comfortable too. Also, isn't that crazy that his like HP is one, but when he gets more excited, the HP increases? So I wonder what the cap is, right? Like how much and is it just his HP stat? Or does anything else increase either? Like, the more he gets excited during like a do like a death situation, he just gets stronger. <laughs> Annette's voice acting of these crying noises are pretty funny. <laughs> we got a blade that comes down, chops down the head, we got a guillotine? <laughs> Yo, these are all such fucked up ways to die. Like, the Iron Bull is messed up. You go in there, and you basically, it's a metallic inside, and it's a you get cooked. You get cooked in a fucking oven. This, you're boiling to fucking death. Insane. And then this, the Iron Maiden. Honestly? Wouldn't the Iron Maiden be the most merciful way to die? Because, like, the, here's my logic. Because the Iron Maiden is a cell with different spikes, and as soon as it closes, should it not penetrate your head and die immediately? Maybe your head is intact, but the rest of your bodies get pierced with like non-lethal injuries, and you bleed out. That would suck, but assuming that you instantly die if this shit closes, I'd much take the Iron Maiden over these, where you have time to get cooked alive. Another fucked up thing? Back in like those Samurai era animes, dude? When you have like... Four separate horses or bulls tied to each limb and they go opposite ways and you get split like oh that's fucked up too oh. hey we got a lockpick it's a thief we got a rogue that's the approved <laughs> Because he wants to sleep in here and maybe get executed later. We're not trying to break out. Come on, bro. Breaking out. <laughs> that was the worst breakout. Bro, we got out for like a... We didn't even get out. The door opened slightly. Then we got <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> he wants to be... <laughs> he probably is saying, can I send a formal request? I have a specific way that I want to die. <laughs> I don't even know the crimes. What do you mean? What do we do? Tama is Matilda? Okay. Sensei looks so happy about this. <laughs> Sensei's like, perfect. Well, can't Tama just ex fucking explain that like... No, this is not a kidnapping. 
Also, I love that Melos is also tied up, bro. Melos is about to get executed too. Melos, run away, fly away. Wait, did Annette just glaze? Annette did glaze right here. Yes, your highness. Damn. This <laughs> says like, yo, you're right, father. Execute us, please. Dude, what the fuck is his armor? Holy shit. I, I guess it makes sense to protect like the biceps there, to try this, this arm area here. This is such an aggressive like guard. Hold the fuck up. What is the point of guarding your non-lethal fucking arms when your stomach is fucking open? You, you can't show me this deep cleave. This is even worse than Elsa Granhill from ReZero, bro. You think that Elsa is showing everything? Look at this dude. Ain't nobody talking about him though. La Palma. Oh. Yo, what the mom look like? No, I don't want to know Joe Summer. I want that rambunctious tomboy, you know, cat girl who's ready to fuck shit up. Nope. We should straight up just kidnap her and leave, though. If they are gonna accuse us for kidnapping, fuck it. I'll show you what real kidnapping is. No apologies? <laughs> Yo, he's, the, he's just chugging that pill now. Matilda. <laughs> and that straight up has been so fucking mean to Tama, but vice versa too. But I guess her tune's gonna entirely change now and just call her Ojo Sama. <laughs> Yeah, we do. <laughs> Fawn. So she's a deer? Deer girl Fawn? Alright. Alright.あなた方は姫様の昨日までは一緒に旅してたんだけど、王様に無理やり城に連れ戻されちゃってさ。そうですか。王様が。小鹿くん、二人の間に何があったか知っている。Story. Give me a good story. He's ex he's interested, right? Yeah. And then we're trying to help. そして今度は父親によって城に遊兵さん we know Tama. And skipped. Great. We're not gonna hear about that for a while. <laughs> yeah, Sensei didn't really give a fuck, huh? Wonder what he was actually thinking. Probably thinking that, well, this is a good try. I almost died, but looks like I got bailed out again. It is what it is. Who's that? <gasps> what? I saw a person on top of that hut. Then I saw teeth and the, the space got devoured. The place where that person was just got devoured. Right? So did that per- was that this person that used that skill? Or did that person just get fucked up? It's a little hard to tell. Otherworlders. Otherworlders. Oh shit, he's from that party! This is not the main guy, right? Actually, I don't even know who the leader's supposed to be. 
I assume that the leader of that party was the guy with Sachan who was just like doing this shit and swinging his fucking orange juice like a fucking demon lord, you know, in the castle. But Kai buddy, okay. <laughs> Fallen Angel of Gluttony. Gluttony is seven deadly sins, right? I don't have to worry about this in ReZero. This is, this is not ReZero, we don't have to worry about it. Gluttony! Something that says- No, 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 no. He got jagged teeth though. He's got spiky teeth and he eats shit. He's Angel of Gluttony. Fallen Angel of Gluttony. His power is just like devouring shit. So each angel must have a theme, right? They must all- Oh, the seven fallen angels, seven deadly sins. All right, all right, all right. Wonder what Sachan is. Is Sachan lust? I don't know. I, I have no clue the relationship between Sachan and Sensei other than they were kind of in it on- I, I, they, they, they were down to die together and she really respected him as writing. But beyond that, we don't really know about their backstory. Lust. Envy. I don't know, but this guy is gluttony. Oh, okay, so it's not him doing that. He has like this fucking, it's not a stand, but he can create this like devouring mouth that consumes like this space. They're about to get eaten, dude. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, these helmets are not helping them, bro. They just look cute to me. Like, straight up. Whoever designed the armor for these people, it is working against you, my man. Yeah. He's gonna do cone every time, bro, like fucking chainsaw, man. Wait, he choose it? Wait, did you actually... So it looks like he actually eats that shit, right? We got this teeth thing that swabble that eats people, devours, but he still like tastes what that thing ate. Ew. Nasty. What? Like you're not gluttonous then. You have a sense of like pride about what you eat then. That's an interesting level of gluttony. You want to eat women? Alright. I hope the king of this beast nation is strong enough to take down the other worlder, but I'm not gonna actually have any expectations. Like, he has a really cool design, but again, like... I doubt this guy's gonna do much. So all my explanations about these being guards, he just, okay, fuck the armor. All right, let's go all in then. Okay, okay. Hold on! <laughs> God damn it, he looked good there for a second. What do you mean, just kidding? <laughs> it's crazy how the soundtrack right now just reminds me of ReZero so much. Because obviously this is the same composer, and that's how I figured out Eminence in Shadow 2, because there's these repeated themes that I hear. It's not the exact same melody, but there's many different themes. Like right now, I hear this shit. I think this is called Death Ballet in ReZero soundtrack. The violins I'm hearing in the background reminds me of the fight against Elsa. <laughs> but I ain't normal. Huh. So whatever he eats, he also gains their power. Powers? He ate the golem, so he has golem-like armor? This part sounds like Eminence in Shadow, right? The whole part leading up to this sounds like ReZero. This part is Eminence in Shadow. Yeah! Ultimate technique! Oh, shit! 
The king is going all out, dude. What is this shit? Last time, we got rid of the fucking armor. This time, we're getting rid of our, like, spandex fucking gloves. Don't say that, though. Don't say that! You're just throwing a flag for yourself, dude! It is actually so crazy how he's fighting in a bathrobe and slippers right now, though. Like, his entire aesthetic and drip, like, it's pretty immaculate. Like, he's still in bathrobes. Like, look at him. Leon? Leon? Who's Leon? Brother? Leon. その兄様の名はレオン王子と心優しい町の誰も信じて疑いませんでしたしかし来た落盤事故によりレオン王子とラパーマン王妃が突然この Sounds like they just died in like a car crash, huh? Basically, isekai car crash accident happening here. Hmm. To cut the hair off? So that... So Tama's whole tomboy... Is like trying to fill in the missing Leon, right? Because, like, if she's asking to get her hair cut off here, it's like symbolic. Like, I will be like the big brother that you lost, father, kind of. Hmm. And, like, father also wants her to be a proper lady and not be against. It. And this story is getting a lot more deeper again. Like, it all just began as a fucking joke, but when it gets serious, man, it's very sentimental. <laughs> Sensei loves this shit, though. <laughs> Everyone's like, man, that's fucked up, man. Oh, man, I can't believe that shit happened. Sensei's like, <laughs> great content. Give me more. The more fucked up it is, the more happy I am. <laughs> Basically, it's like, again, like, her trying to be, like, she, they're both trying to help each other, right? She's trying to help that in thinking that if I'm more like Leon, if I'm more like a tomboy and not be ladylike, then you'll be happier. And then the father's like, no, you don't have to be like that. Simply just be who you are. But like, it sounds like she's taking... He's, the king is like taking her identity away, but at the same time, it, they're just like both trying to look out for each other in a miscommunicating way. That's so powerful. Dude. Now he can't even use that fucking ultimate technique anymore with that arm. Oh yeah, His arm is gone now. Unless we got a left-handed version. I know. I know you did. Ew! That was clutch. That was very clutch by him. Sensei. <laughs> 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 I wonder if the sensei... I'm sorry, if the king is just gonna die. 
Maybe he let him live there. I don't know. It's just like, damn. We don't really get to see the outcome of that, but nothing's really confirmed. Oh, oh shit, that was fast. Yo, we might be able to get there just in time. Hold up. This guy's fast as fuck. The king is tied up. Eh, this is better than him just dying. He's just chained up as to set an example to see, you know. Look how strong I am. I still prefer this than him just dying. Kaibara, Goran no Tori, Konokuni no Aratana Oda yo. Mina Anshin Shiru Akejanai. Boku ga o ni natte ya. Dude, the choir? The, the male choir in the background during this evil soundtrack is great. Mina Anshin Shikre. Nani mo boku wa kimitachi ni aseo shiru akejanai. Konokuni ni kiru arayu shuzoku no ajin tachi. How the fuck an immigrant kind of show up to my goddamn country and call yourself the fucking king, bro? You ain't even born here. <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> even more fucked up than my immigrant jokes. I only want to eat women and children, of course, not the men. <laughs> At least he's being honest. I don't know. <laughs> That's so powerful. Like, I know that he just goes like this and like, at the like, like, I don't know the range, but it could just show up right below you and swallow you up in the ground. <laughs> you know, it would be fucked up for us to separate the men and the children and the women of the family. So I'll make sure I eat all of you and you can go and see each other in hell together. <laughs> How nice! Thank you! Sensei's too busy writing. He's getting excited, man. Can we deport him, Sensei? Yeah. Again, every time. Before Sensei does something, he's always writing stories, and the whole stories is just like sad and depressing. Like the other guy too, he's like, <laughs> So you were a loser back at home when you showed up here and trying to be a hero, but you're still a fucking loser? <laughs> Great, you're so fucking pathetic. Great in content. <laughs> Even to Tama. <laughs> Your dad's about to die now. Your fucking mom and brother died of a tragedy, and now you're stuck here. <laughs> like, the more tragic the stories are, the more excited Sensei gets, and the more powerful he becomes. Oh. Backstory? Fun? I'm listening. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that was mom? My bad. Not fun. I thought it was like the handmaiden thing. But like, come on. Come on. Why you, 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 I'm listening, mom. I'm, and then flashback's over. Great, mom. Thanks. And now I'm gonna, I'm, and then during a fight, we'll have a flashback moment. Then it'll tell us what's happening later on. What an insane thing happening, man. <laughs> Like, who knows what would have happened with that ultimate move? Maybe he could have fucking won and Tama got involved. Oh, brother. Okay. Annette knows of it. Annette knows of it. Annette knows of it. Annette knows of it. Annette knows of it.
<laughs> we have the ultimate weapon for defeating other worlders. Get back to your country! Set them back! We don't take too kindly to your tap around here, boy. <laughs> I feel like Tama should still show up and help, even if she doesn't do it alone. It just feels weird that the solution, that the whole situation will be resolved without Tama being present. Geeky Gogur A and B. Thank you. Very, very, very uh, unique names here. Hey, it's the red and the blue Oni from the folklore story, guys, about how, you know, they were afraid of the humans and they basically crafted a plan for one of them to be happy and Rem? Ram. Rem? Ram. What's up, Sensei? Maybe they'll let us through. Right, let Sensei cook, bro. Even Meadows, bro. Even Meadows, man! Yeah, that's a unique way to die. It's gonna work. This freak. The monsters are confused. Yeah, I would be too. Who the fuck just shows up saying this? Sensei does. Calm down, bro. Calm down. How the hell did we back at... We're back in the cellar. We're, like, straight we started the episode in a prison, and now we're back in a fucking prison, and Sensei's gonna sleep with Melos, you know, as a pillow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the hat was hiding! Lockpick? That's right, we can get out of the cell, that's right, that's right! Yeah, post credit scene, baby! And she gone. Yes, of course, she can't just stay here and let us solve everything without her. No, 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 she needs to be present, and it's gonna be some impactful moment with the father. That's a lot of blood. Damn, he is bleeding out. I mean, the, the arm is an open wound, but that's a lot of blood. <laughs> that is the stupidest fucking like 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 look like what are Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. Net. Tama? Annette, Tama? Tama! Tama is ready! But like, how did Tama get here first before anyone else? And that's it for today's episode. Maybe Tama arrived early. Well, we're locked up, right? We're, we're right, right now we're in the cellar, right? I thought that for some reason that like we met with Tama first, but no, we're currently locked in the cellar and we're going to use a lock picking to get out, then reconvene with Tama. By the time we get there, Tama will probably be in danger and it's gonna be sad. Then Sensei, the fucking auto fucking, you know, the ding, the fucking soundtrack is gonna start playing, then, you know, East, and then Sensei will deport him. That's how next episode should pan out. Today's episode was fantastic. The pacing is fucking amazing. Literally not wasting any time. We show up at the village and I thought there'd be some time for exposition and stuff. It's like, and yes, they did do that, but in such a concise way. And then boom, Kaibara shows up, one of the seven fallen angels, and they all have a theme of the seven deadly sins. He is gluttony. He uses a skill where he goes like this and then a uh, third dimensional space just fucking opens up and chomp. And you know, he, it seems pretty OP and everything that that thing eats he also eats too, which is kind of fucked up. But I guess that he has become gluttony that he can just eat fucking inanimate objects and just be fine with that too. I mean, he pulled out a fucking necklace out of his mouth. He is just an evil piece of shit, but his design... I love the whole bathrobe, how confident he looks here. So, I don't know. Even though he is the antagonist here, he's pretty cool. I, I, I do enjoy this new antagonist. Other than that, Tama being like, we got some Tama lore... And then what else? Uh, a little bit more of like why the king and, and Tama are kind of acting the way they are. They should have a heartwarming closure 
at the end of the arc where the king realizes that Tama was simply trying to be, you know, a big bro and trying to make him feel good. And, you know, all this time the king was being quote unquote mean to Tama and saying you need to be more ladylike when at the end of the day he just wanted her to be herself. And that should wrap up the arc. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.